Hola, mi amigos. Me llamo El Presidente, Steve. Welcome to Tropico 6. This is the game I was teasing about this week during my Surviving Mars videos. And I've been looking at this game. I, I, I dabbled in the beta a little bit, and I was really interested in playing the game. So I picked it up. It is available on Steam. This is version 1.00. You can see it right by the tag for my channel. And we're going to be playing this as we go over the next well, indeterminate amount of time. I am going to turn the volume down just a little bit. I do absolutely love the music in this game. I'm playing stream safe music as well, so I hopefully will not get a copyright strike for any of the videos that I put out here. But since this is the first Tropico game I've really played, we're going to start with the tutorial. Yeah, I know. But if you're interested in picking up this game, if you're kind of on the fence about it, you're going to see somebody who's new to the game take a run at it, and maybe you'll get a feel for it and decide, hey, I want to pick up this game too, or eh, I'm just going to watch some of the Let's Plays that Steve and other content creators are going to put out. So let's jump into the new game. Oh, look. Little bird. And though this fact on the bottom left, I think that is... I'm pretty sure it's true. So you got the Statue of Liberty... Looks like a Colosseum. Nukes. Nukes, I'm liking this. Alright. Before you present yourself to your proud citizens of the Tropica Nation, please check your outfit. The first impression is most important after all. I'll do a, a male folk. Uh, we can do Hawaiian tourist, modern business, mafia, soldier, academic, pirate. You have to complete the Pirate King mission for that. Have the Sphinx and Great Pyramid at the same time. You can unlock a lot of stuff too. 70s or the Roman Emperor. Have no elections for 20 years in a post colonial era. I'm going to go modern business because I do like the business suit. The hats, we can go no hat. Uh, soldier cap, mafia, pirate, Hawaiian tourist, academic, pharaoh, Roman Emperor. Goes with that Roman one. Uh, Basque beret, a Stetson. Stetson's a cool. Or a top hat. Kind of think I'm just going to go with the peak cap. Just uh, stick with the standard here. No, I don't. How do I... I'm gonna look around this person. Alright, uh, accessory. You can go with a cigar, or if you, uh... You can go with a pacifier, too, if you want to go that route. But I'll think I'll just go with, uh... I'll go with a bed pipe. Remember, smoking's bad. It does kill. So the Hawaiian tourist, the 70s look. Square. I don't know about that. The round, sh shuttered, heart. I'm just gonna go with the pilot shades. Uh, beard. I'm gonna go with a short beard. I'm actually uh, getting a haircut this weekend to try to get mine under control. <laughs> so we have the uh, Afro business. Hockey, curly spikes or defaults. I'm gonna go with a business look, I think. That's the type. I'm a white guy. You can probably tell from uh, just listening to me talk. Uh, secondary color, we can find it. Okay. So we're going to go blue and gold, uh, as close as I can get to the channel logo, beard color. And we'll keep it brown. Hair color, a lot of options. Go purple if we're going to go for the uh, Remy Tim, but I'm actually going to stick with this one. I like this. Alright, so we have traits. Um, you have the apologetic. Uh, you always have thought a good apology was priceless. I'm just going to kind of scan through these. Uh, I'm not going to read them all out loud. You can pause the video whenever you want as I'm hovering over them to kind of read them and then just go ahead and hit play when you want to keep going. We have Apologetic. We have Charismatic. Ooh, that's a pretty good one. Corrupt. Uh, kind of Normal. Manipulative. Hmm. Pyromaniac. Chance of buildings catching fire. Um, spatial Sense Prodigy. Hmm. It's actually a pretty good one, I think. And Workaholic. Um, I'm kind of liking the Spatial Sense Prodigy, but I'll do kind of normal, just to start. The Palace. This is uh, where we'll be kind of based out. So we have multiple layout options. We have like a left-based one. Center is the standard. We have a front yard option. Backyard option. Irregular. Nope, 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 nope. My OCD's going nuts on that one. Right or split. 
think I'm just going to stick with the center for now. We'll have a, we'll have a grass path. Planks. Yellow Brick Road. Red Carpet. Uh, yellow uh, Red Carpet, you have to have uh, Neuschwanstein Castle and Taj Mahal at the same time. I'm going to go with a... I'm just going to go with a regular cobblestone. Boundary. Uh, we have uh, wall options here. Still going to learn it. Boundaries, we have the Victorian style, light military, heavy military, displayed in World Wars or later, complete the superpower defense mission for that, or hedges. I'll stick with a standard brick. Roof extensions, we have a fish tank up here, a glass pyramid, a helipad, rooftop garden, public service announcement tower, gotta complete some of that, or a hologram. <laughs> um, I'll go with the giant, I'll go with the fish tank. Uh, the garden, you have a garden, a pool, a flamingo pond, because I did get the, um, the deluxe version off of Steam. A hedge maze. A bunker. Displayed in World Wars that later survive a military coup. Oy. Koi pond. Sandbox. Uh, play a sandbox game. That's easy enough. Or a stone garden. Um, I'll go with fling flamingo pond. Um, we have flower pots. We have none. Air dancers. <laughs> Reach a Swiss bank account credit of 50000 without ever accepting a broker request. I would love to get that at some point. Um, I'm going to go with the banner. That seems pretty cool. And the large deco option over here. Uh, complete all missions to get that one. A meteorite. Wow, have 90% of Tropicans support the same faction. That's pretty cool. Um... I guess I'll stick with the standard garden there. And the palace itself, you can change up the color scheme. So let's see if we can find a... Go with like a blue, and then an orange. Maybe we go orange and... Oh, wait a minute. I got it backwards the first... I should have done the first way. So light blue, an orange. Pretty close to what I got for the uh, color for the channel. Oh, the roof can be different colors too. Yeah, I'm liking that. Window style. Guess I'll stick with the default there. And uh, power, palace outwall style. I'll go default. You get so many little options you get to do. You get to customize it so everything's just a little bit different as you go into this. We'll go ahead and exit that. So uh, hopefully I hit save on all that. All right, so we're gonna go into the tutorial. Um, Or, we could just do this one. Um, tutorial, I probably should do it, and I think I'm gonna do that one. This problem with tutorials, I know they're just boring. I should have done these actually before I started recording, but if you do wanna learn about the game, let's just make this a whole tutorial episode. How about that? So we're going to go through a little bit of this. Um, I'm going to try to go through all five if I can during this video. If not, maybe I'll break it up and I'll do a second video uh, that'll come out and then we'll get into the actual game itself. Using it in this game just really makes me want to dance. <laughs> Any key to continue. Welcome to Tropico. You are El Presidente, the dictator of Tropico, a small but thriving nation located somewhere in the Caribbean Sea or Caribbean, depending on your pronunciation. You will build, trade, build, expand trade, and issue laws to guide Tropico through four turbulent historical eras in which you have to face the global superpowers while trying to juggle interior political factions. How will you be remembered? As a benevolent leader who caters for the people, or as a dictator ruling with an iron fist? Whatever you choose, the main thing is that you stay in charge. If you get voted out, you actually will lose the game. Hola, Presidente. It is I, your loyal penultimo, with a workout for your mighty brain. A formality, I know, for one of your brilliance. All right, so penultimo, he's one of your right-hand characters that we'll be uh, seeing quite a bit as we go through the game. Um, so we'll just do a couple of tutorial tasks here. There you go. So we need to complete those to do that. And of course, you can read this 
as you want. I'm just gonna just skim, just skim it real quick. If you want to pause and read it, go ahead and do so. So open the task screen and view each task. That easy. Oh, good. Actually, can learn how to do this stuff. All right, so we have the WSAD stuff. Um, ah, so rotate camera is actually your middle mouse button. Uh, let's see, tilt the camera up and down and zoom it up and down. So, archipelago view. That's a space bar. Do that. Wow, look at that map. We have a little bit of a volcano over here. All right. So proud of you, so President. Easy. Your control of your tropical is absolute. <laughs> your loyal citizens do whatever you tell them to do, Presidente. Yeah, so you have you have your dock. And the dock just helps move things in and out, obviously. Click on your description. Kind of read what these things do. And so your Teamsters, they move stuff. Connect the mine to a new road that exists to an existing road. All right. So, oh. and of course, we can just, uh, Increase the speed of the export. Uh, we don't have any gold stored up yet here. We have a truck coming in right now. Let's see, 289 gold just got delivered. Look, a boat. It looks so tiny from here, but I doubt even you could lift it. Well, it just kind of helps you show what it is. So let's build some stuff. Okay, rotating it is by the mouse button. And we'll have... We'll see the crane go up. The Teamsters in the construction office will actually build that for us. We have a plantation here, building corn. We do also have some uh, these little shacks that are being made. So we'll probably need to build some apartments as well. I'm going to turn the game speed down here. Hoping I can get the other tutorial tasks shut up Reese as quick as I can. But I'll just go up to fast mode on this one. You have an opportunity to build a tavern or you're not doing it. I could quick build it, but I'll just go like high priority maybe. There we go. We got somebody coming in here. Another boat has come in. We got some more people living on the island. There we go. Here comes the tavern. Low rebel threat already. I've barely done anything. Build a tannery and produce leather. Pretty easy stuff. Um, emits pollution. Oh, that's helpful. And I'll actually quick build that to get it done faster. So hides will come from the ranch. Let's go right across the street into the tannery. It'll get built, and then the Teamsters will take it to the dock. One of the reasons I did want to pick up this game is that it is absolutely gorgeous. I love the design of this. I love the detail in it. Can I, let's see, can I build... So I get plantations and ranches. For this, it's a unique thing. So I could build a bunkhouse here. And that'll actually get some of the people out of these shacks and into buildings. I knew you would get the hang of this way of issuing orders. Making money is good, but you know what is better? Making more money. So, so true words those are. Have an active export trade route for leather. So, it's one of the things you get to do here. I'll do like a 3,000 one. Um, yeah. 
I have a cattle ranch with the values between 90 and 100. So, now we get to see some cool stuff. So you see that where these areas are green are better to put things than where it's red. Or This one's a 98% efficiency. I'll absolutely drop it down there. But let's say I wanted to build another one. All the areas in red are really bad for producing cattle. But let's say I wanted to make sheep, crocodiles, pig, llama, goat. You can have ranches for all those. This area is good for goats, but it's not that great for cattle. So just more cool things that you get to do, and you can customize your islands however you want. You can build different things to make it really cool, and just enjoy it. The allies just sent me some foreign aid, so a little bit more cash, always good. I'm just going to do a quick build on the ranch. Set the budget to maximum, and wait for them to be fully staffed. So, control, click, there you go. I think I got it done right. Install chrome tanning in the tannery. Decreases the consumption. There we go. Fire a worker and close a worker. Wow, that's uh, that doesn't mean. So you kind of get the idea of how this works right now. So we're doing a. Uh... What was the thing here? Regular control is human exploit. Got it. So many ways to juice the fruits of the tropic and economy. So, you have that basic idea. I'm actually going to go into the next chapter, see what we can learn out of this. A functioning economy is the backbone of a successful state. Very true words. So there's uh, the Neuschwanstein castle there. We got to obviously Cape Canaveral in this. Uh, police blimps we can get in the later game too. So I'm kind of excited about that. Uh, your job would be so much easier without the citizens. Perhaps one day we will be able to replace them. Until then, you got to learn how to keep them happy. Something that I've seen a lot of players struggle with. So we got to build two bunkhouses next to fishermen wharfs on Volcano Island. Uh, you can overbuild shacks without the buildings, no citizens harmed. Alright, so there's Volcano Island. We started off on this island, allegedly. So the island has actually developed since the last time we were here. We've seen it, that it's grown out a little bit. We now have uh, people working over on this island too. We have an opera house over here. And you can see the bunkhouses being uh, put up real quick. Let's actually uh, change that up. So we have a clinic here. We also have plenty of fishermen's wharfs and a dock. Select a citizen working at one of the fishermen's wharfs. Let's say hi to him. Hola, how are you today? Well, he's poor. Or she's poor. Let's see what we can do better for him. Open the info panel. I have a fisherman inspect the happiness tab. So we'll go here. We'll do this. Oh, what a day. So, the higher their happiness is, obviously the better they are. You know, approvals here, if they get down in this area, you might have rebels coming up. Huh? Let's crank out a tavern. This is going to increase the happiness somewhat. And I'll put it by the bunkhouse. So it really looks like this is just moving fish. Hmm. All right. So now we get to dig into the almanac. So we have 41 homeless citizens, a lot of unemployed folks out of 200. Um, happiness. The lowest is fun happiness. My Swiss bank account is dry right now. That's a bad thing. So hopefully we can uh, turn that around. Open the fun overlay and inspect all three islands. All right, so we got some good fun coverage. 
good thing. Uh, build a tavern on Waterfall and Center Island. That's all of these, that's these two over here. And I thought I built one over here, but we could totally do it. Alright, so... One quality is pretty low. So we gotta adjust that as well. Increase the speed on this to maybe get it done a little faster. We got one tavern over here. This one's still under construction. I think we need materials for it. Maybe. There it is. More freighters coming in, more people coming in. Truck goes well. Happy is impossible, of course. So you have to play the numbers. In brief, you are number one. I am number two, and everyone else is way down there somewhere. This is going to check the almanac to see how everybody's is. Lower budgets of buildings make them cheaper for people to use, or raise them if needed. We now come to the troubling part of your job. Not everyone knows you are doing such great work. How crazy is that? There's a joke about modern American politics in there somewhere. We're walking, we're walking. People think they always know best. Got an update for Razor Synapse. Keyboard. All right. Don't know why that's popping up right now. All right. So stressed. All right, so his capitalist views, moderate. Use an almanac to open the politics tab. So, communists, we got 92, 53% are happy, it looks like. 53% this one, and we got some people who are just meh about the whole thing. All right, so demands will come up quite often in this game, so we'll just President. see this. There is a flaw in our military machine. We do not have enough of the things that I want. General Rodriguez, our military leader, so we can totally do that. And uh, we'll build a watchtower real fast. Uh, we'll put it near the dock. And you can't, and that, this is where the balancing act in this game comes in. Try to keep everybody happy and get everything done. The best defense is a good offense, Presidente, but as yet I am only moderately offensive. All right, accept the demands of the communist or the religious factions. You will get dual demands. To the people, Presidente. Show you care for your Tropican comrades and win their hearts and souls, though you do not get to keep them, okay? Speaking of souls, I'd imagine that El Presidente is looking forward to joining me in heaven rather than going to the other place. The Good Shepherd looks after the sheep, don't you agree? So we have the options to build a bunkhouse or build a chapel out of this one. So, um, I'll go ahead and build a chapel. Your lack of respect for the military is unacceptable, Presidente. We're on the verge of a coup. So, you gotta build two bunkhouses and you gotta do it in a few days. So, let's satisfy all of those uh, requests really quick. Uh, let's see. Public services. We need a chapel. Alright, so we do overlay. We do faith coverage. Faith quality. We probably do a little better over here. So we'll drop down the chapel in this area. There's another one already here. And then we'll build those bunkhouses. I'm thinking on Volcano Island. No, nope, we don't have not a lot of shacks over there. So we'll build the bunkhouses over here. There we go. Now we'll just let the game go. It didn't freeze on me. I just bogged down there big time. Didn't lose any frames though. A good deed, Presidente. Performed, no doubt, with absolutely no thought of reward. 
Yeah. So Sister Francesca represents the religious faction. So you saw Marco um, representing the communist, General Rodriguez representing the militarists. I don't think we've met the capitalist one yet. But we'll knock those two out real fast. And just enjoy the music while this is just playing out. Probably could have put a bunkhouses over here by the plantation, if I'm honest. But I kind of wanted to clear them out by the palace. We got one done. Wow. That's what happens if you don't finalize it. Half the citizens working in military buildings will take up arms and attack the palace. Um... Assuming I got a population of 270 right now, that's a lot of people my uh, palace guards have to fend off. There we go, here's the other bunkhouse. Best defense is a good offense, President. I'll take the military standing there. Alright, head back into the politics. We've got some pretty good support right now. We've got a little bit of an opposition right now. And there's only 68 eligible voters in Tropico. The citizens are demanding elections, Presidente. It seems that they want a choice in how they are ruled. So selfish. Well, give them what they want. We'll make a speech here. So we'll acknowledge an issue with housing happiness. It's pretty low right now. Praise factions. Um, actually, play, praise the militarists to temporarily boost their standing. Um, we'll blame the Axis for the problems. And then we'll promise improvement with housing. And we'll deliver a speech, and that's probably where we're going to wrap up the episode. My tropicans, my people, my children, your prosperity is my honor, your solidarity is my faith, and I gracefully accept your love. You are my tropical. I'm one of my people. I feel your pain when your walls shudder and your roofs leak. Those of you who have roofs. But soon, roofs for all and walls for many. And as we strive, our efforts are protected by our brave Tropican army. Our fighting men and women give no quarter and neither do our soldiers. Just as we praise our friends, so we condemn our enemies. The Axis wishes to remake the world over my mildly unsettled body. What can you look forward to in the years to come? Better housing, slantier roofs, straighter walls, more transparent windows. The Tropican House of Tomorrow is built with standards. It is you, my friends, who I thank for making me what I am today. I am proud to be your Presidente. Viva Tropico! Alright, so we'll drop a couple of apartments down. I'm just going to drop it over here. There we go. So, actually, do we have to win the election? That's how we're going to kind of finish this one off. This place can definitely use some apartments. I went, I hit B thinking that this is surviving Mars still, thinking, oh, I can totally uh, do that. Did it again. <laughs> we'll drop down some apartments. I'm actually going to increase the game speed here. Try to get us there just a little bit faster. Hopefully, uh, we'll get some apartments built up. That's going to increase our approval rating. Ninety-two, ninety-three percent approval. But note, it's not going to stay that way. You got to keep the people happy. So you got to keep just kind of playing that balance with them. 
So you need power for the fun fair pier. What's he gonna do that one? Uh, visitors will be well off or better. I think about dropping a circus down. Look at that. That is just beautiful. Alright. Let's build some bunk houses, maybe. At some point, I'm going to stop hitting B. <laughs> put some more over there. Put some more bunkhouses down. And put some bunkhouses along here as well. Alright. We'll build them up. And we'll go into the Almanac. A lot of unemployed citizens, so... Or a lot of homeless citizens. Looks like we're going to need to make some jobs, too. What can this island do for, let's say, industry? Needs power, so I can't do that. Let's see. Logging camp? Not that great over here. Decent over here. Really good out here. And we'll drop a road down. Maybe get some people, uh... And we'll put down another logging camp, maybe. Uh, maybe a lumber mill. Put it right there. Put people to work. Fix the housing problems. Hopefully. It's a lot of balls you gotta keep in the air with this game. Try to keep everybody happy. I'm sure the good citizens of Tropico intend to vote for you, Presidente. I myself intend to vote for you many, many times. So you have the option to rig the election in your favor. We got an 85% approval rating, so no, let them vote. I believe winning the next election will, of course, finish off this mission. And we have a lot of people just meh toward the whole thing. No detractors, which is good. Look at this, we got people already going to work. Election day, soon. Let's head to the palace. The election is a landslide, Presidente. The metaphorical kind, not the kind that accidentally reduces the size of the workforce. 74 Tropicans voted for you, two for the rival. So you can always uh, make some changes to your... Uh, this, I'll make it all citizens vote. Armed forces, you can have a pacifist state. Um, disables all military buildings. Soldiers require no education. Uh, you also have professional soldiers. Um, don't have any research for religion and state, labor policy, ecology. We do an economy first. That's in also unlocked in the Cold War era. Separation of powers, emigration, media independence, modern times, you get personal rights, health care, marriage rights, and of course a global market equality. Yes. So you put the little Tropican stamp on it, and it's effective until the next election about 10 years later. Suite is the key to political success. It is also impossible, which is why politics is such good fun. It's very right here. Just try to keep all the political plates spinning, and if you drop one, sweep up the pieces and claim that you meant to do it. The good news is the factions will tell you where they're un un unhappy. It does take some guesswork out of it all. And... With a little bit of guessing, we've made it through the first episode. I uh, am going to do the next set of tutorials in the next episode. And then I'm just going to keep going with this game because it's so vibrant, it's so beautiful, and it is challenging. That is what I've been looking for in a new game. So like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the videos that come out of my channel. Say goodbye to Penultimo for now. I'll see you all in the next video.